they're charging um, $30 per container um, that comes into their port, and that money goes directly back into either um, uh, retrofitting um, uh, diesel trucks or, or like some kind of grants for, for those, um, kind of like the 1B funding. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then also that money also goes into um, developing um, and um, improving the uh, transportation infrastructure in that area. And so the Port of Long Beach and the Port of uh, LA, we're currently doing that. And Lowenthal, he proposed legislation this past term, it was SB 974, in which he wanted to um, do that program um, and, and include Oakland as well. However, it died in, the, in one of the committees, I don't remember which one. Um, and he's been working on that for a long time. And I know, I know this, you know, it's not a seaport, but it's still a major port of entry. And um, the programs right now with Long Beach and LA, they're, they're, uh, um, those two ports, they, they took the initiatives um, upon themselves to implement this policy there. It wasn't a state mandated implementation of the policy. The ports took that initiative to do that. Um, and then, so I was just thinking of maybe maybe doing something like that here where that money can go back to those truck drivers to help them buy the filters that they need for their trucks because they're going to have to do it anyway because of uh, the new rule um, that that's, um, what, what number is that rule? The truck is diesel rule? Is it three times? Yeah. 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 What's the diesel emissions rule that, that car has been Is it 217? Yeah, there. Yeah, CARB is going to require anyway that, that these diesel trucks be retrofitted within the next uh, 10 years, basically, to either have you know better air filters or not have a truck that is older than a certain you know date. So, um, so I don't know. I was just thinking that that maybe something can be done here at this local port, and that money just goes back locally into the community to help those truck drivers here get where they need to, to be in order to um, in order to basically um, be able to comply with the new regulations because once 1B funding is, is done with, you know, what's going to happen after that? And then plus two, we can go back to infrastructure um, or transportation funds here locally to help improve transportation here. So that's money being put back into this economy here. Um, or maybe, I mean, do speak, I don't know who we would speak to or how we'd go about doing that, or maybe even if Lowenthal introduces this bill again, ask them to include the port, the ports of Calexico in the bill. So that um, they're, they're part of that. Uh, something kind of similar, there's a, a gas fuel fund uh, it's with the farmers. Basically, when a farmer buys fuel, they can buy it from the distributor, bring it back to his farm, puts it in the tank. He has farm people, which is not going to drive on the roads. So there's sales tax, which that farmer doesn't need to pay. And farmers can basically ask to be compensated back for that. Bureau County the other day was talking about how uh, there's basically money sitting there uh, you know, in the county, and they can just add it to a fund, and they can do with it what they want. Uh, I'm curious if that could be a uh, possible source of revenue. I to help the truck drivers retrofit their, their... If that's the way to do it, yeah. I, it's just yeah. something to add. So. Any more research. Yeah. So it goes into the general funds? It's, yeah, they, have a, they create a fund because essentially at the end of the year, uh, the farmers have to make a request to the county uh, asking to be compensated for the taxes they paid on the gas they bought, even though they're not using you know, the fuel to drive on the uh, roadways. Uh, so that's the idea. Now, less and less farmers each year are taking advantage of that. Uh, they're not aware of it. So there's in general a lot of money that's kind of left around that uh, the county can do stuff with. So I'm curious uh, if, that, if that funding, that money can be channeled in a different way. Because otherwise the county wants to channel that into the county. But if it's, so. Well, from my personal perspective, I'd be like, let's go educate the farmers to get their money back. But, um, <laughs> 
I wouldn't want to take away from that. Because another thing as well, that's not um, a sustainable form of, of, of getting you know, income. Um, but and it's, I don't want to take away from someone else's right to leave. But, yeah. I think you're referring to the in lieu fund, in lieu taxes, which means in place of, um, and it applies to all fuel taxes that are collected in the county from vehicles that are uh, street legal vehicles. So it technically is collected for all the off road vehicles that, um, that drive in this county, too. And, and from what I understand, I know San Diego County, where I happen to live, doesn't keep track of that money very well. And probably, I don't know if Ontario does any better, but there is there is a huge pot of money, probably in all the counties in California, that is supposed to be used to address uh, air pollution from all it's, it, it, yeah. So it's not just a reimbursement, it's uh -huh. actually addressed. Well, uh, farmers, I guess, can ask for reimbursement, but other types of off road vehicles, uh -huh. it's supposed to be used to address the air pollution. So, so, when, they, so when they register their off road vehicle, right. that's right. okay. Right. Or, now, how does that apply with like so we have so many people who come from out of right. town, so they're registered right. somewhere else? Right. They well, no. The, the, the new uh, rule is that the vehicle, the in lieu taxes, however they calculate the amount of fuel that these vehicles spend, goes to the county where the vehicles are operated. So again, that could be a huge. That's something I I really like to look at. So, um, it could be a huge uh, fund for the county at this question right now to use for. Um, Seem like it was, you know, there's, there's possibilities of getting money out there, huh. but they're not reaching out to get it. From the state of California, you're saying? That's yeah, California. like other other entities, other airports, they're saying they're coming out there. What type of programs are they? That's, like I said, that was what they said. You know, there's, there's programs. I'm supposed to follow up with this. Because anybody can find out where this pot of money is, and I can pass it on to the But it's easy when you talk to me. Yeah. If there's, there's money available, there's an interest. 